morning, planty people. Lorinda here. Got my coffee. It's Memorial Day. It's a beautiful day. I got a lot to do today. Right now, the garden is full of a bunch of half-completed projects. It is a disaster. I work in the garden usually until it gets dark. And then when it does, I'm like, okay, time to go in the house now. <laughs> and I just leave everything where it's at. Seriously, it's, it's a mess. So I need to clean this up. And it's supposed to be really hot today. And I'm like, ugh, I should have started earlier. But I go to bed like way too late. So I thought I would sleep in today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm using a new little toy. I'm trying it out. So if I stay out of frame or something, sorry. It's gorgeous out there today. My hollyhocks, look at how big they're getting. Hopefully they bloom soon. I'm so excited. I've never planted hollyhocks before. And look at my sunflowers. I think today, officially, butterfly, they're as tall as me <laughs> or taller. Yesterday they were as tall as me and today they look like they are taller. That is just crazy. Butterfly. My apple tree. More sunflowers. Let's see if the pill bugs have gotten to my plant. Nope, they look okay. A little powdery mildew. I'm gonna need to spray that. I use um, half milk, half water to take care of powdery mildew. It really does work. Those are some acorn squash over there. Some cucumbers down here. Another cucumber. I need to water also. Oh, look at this hot mess. I don't know if you remember, but I had a, a giant celery plant right here that I dug out and I planted my peppers here finally. So I left a big old mess over here. There's my snake. <laughs> I, I use these inflatable snakes to scare off rodents. <laughs> okay, it's a hazard. Some of you have wondered what's up with the black plastic on the ground. Well, I had grass back here and with all the garden beds and everything, it's too much to mow and then the grass would get into the beds. So I was like, screw that. I'm gonna put down the black plastic and the idea is eventually, sometime hopefully really soon, I'm going to put down wood chips and make it look more garden-esque. But I haven't had a chance yet. I need to go pick it up, but I'm gonna need several truckloads of wood chips to cover this garden. I don't have anything planned for a video today. So I just thought I would show you around the garden, show you what I'm working on. Tomatoes! I have them in these bags. Some of you have also wondered about the bags. I keep them on my tomatoes to protect them from rodents. Um, so I get to eat them before they do. And it protects them from hornworms and sun scald. So they're pretty cool. So actually, I think I'm gonna put them on my apples. <gasps> Let's go look at my apples. Look, that is so cool. I'm so excited. I have two apples there. And I have two apples or three apples here. 
There's one, and then there's over here, three. So I have five apples on this tree, and I am gonna protect them with my life. So I'm gonna put some bags over those apples to make sure that I get them and not something else. So those bags are pretty cool, and they're really inexpensive. I think they're on sale right now. So I'm gonna order some more, actually. Ugh, too much to do, not enough time. <gasps> Pretty roses, aren't those gorgeous? Strawberries. Did you guys used to watch Strawberry Shortcake? I used to all the time when I was a kid. And I kind of had another little obsession yesterday. I went to hunt for house plants. And I bought a few house plants. I'm having a hard time using this thing. My new little toy. I'm gonna put my coffee down. I got a snake plant, some coleus. I don't know what kind of plant that is, but I like it. A pothos. I don't know what that is either, but I thought it was really pretty. And that's my string of hearts that I watered yesterday. And this pretty plant right here. And I picked up this really pretty pot at Big Lots, but it's broken. And it was $12 and I asked the guy if he would take five and he reduced it as much as he could and I got it for $5.75. But I'm gonna glue it and then just put the back towards the wall in my house. And I thought that was such a pretty pot. I did that yesterday. So that's kind of cool. So that's all I have for right now. I might take you with me on a few more projects today. We'll see how much I get done. Hey guys, so I'm just gonna be potting up some of my house plants right now. So if you wanna watch me do that, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I got a lot to get done. So I think I'm going to start with this little one right here. I have this little pot. I have a bigger pot inside the house with a different plant in it. So I'm going to put this little guy in there right now. I have my little garden cart here with my supplies and my soil. So I think I'm good to go. So that's what I'm going to do. Put a little bit of soil in here. I've recently started to get into house plants. I love them. They purify the air. They just make your space look so pretty. Some Osmocote. It's um, a fertilizer for flowers and vegetables. Just give it a little sprinkle. And then I can pop this little guy in here. Give it a little smush. Let's see. And just pop them in. How cute. Now I don't know what kind of light this requires. But usually house plants like bright indirect light. So like no direct sun. And where this is gonna go is on my shelf. So it'll get some light from the windows, but I don't think it'll, it won't get any direct sun. Which is good. My house is I'm north facing. So that means I never get any sunlight, direct sunlight coming in my front windows. And the bedrooms are south facing. So we do get some sun in the bedroom windows, but I really don't have any plants in our bedroom. So usually the front room won't get any direct sun. Like even my porch is like in the shade all day. It's kind of nice. It doesn't get super hot. Okay, that one looks really cute. So that one's done. And I got this pretty planter at Target yesterday. So, I'm going to put my string of hearts in this one. So, I am going to take you out of here. I think I have to take off these clips. I might just hook it off. Snip, snip, snip. Now, I didn't grow up gardening. 
my dad gardened a little bit. I remember him planting wildflowers. He never really planted any vegetables. We did have a lemon tree. We had a giant lemon tree growing up. I mean, so big you can climb up in it. And we did that a lot when we were kids. I used to always threaten to run away from home and go hide out in the lemon tree and see if they even noticed I was gone. Half the time they didn't. And I used to even, when I was a kid, pick the lemons and sell them on the corner for four for a dollar. And then I would spend all day out there selling lemons and then I would ride my bike to the liquor store and go spend it all on candy. Which is probably why now I'm a diabetic. Back then, it was cool. We had a liquor store in our neighborhood. We would be there all the time. I used to buy those big fat pickles in the jars. I loved those. I forgot my eyes coat. Nowadays, I would never let my kids ride their bike to the liquor store. Times have changed. When you pot plants and planters, you always want to make sure you have room to water it. Because the last thing you want to do is water your plant and have the water run over the sides because the soil is too high. And I do think the soil is too high in this one right now. So I might have to take out some soil. Oh, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this guy out. I might just have to dig out some soil. I am not a pro with this. I've just recently started to get into houseplants and I'm learning a lot as I go. But I love the string of hearts plants. It's so pretty. And they can trail really long. Okay. I think that should be okay. How does this go? looks lopsided, doesn't it? I think I need to retie this knot or fix the knot inside. It needs to be more like that. Okay, what do you think? Isn't that pretty? I love string of hearts. The leaves look like little hearts. That's gonna look pretty. I'm gonna hang this in my house. It took me forever to untangle it, so I think it was worth it. Beautiful! So right now, I'm going to fix this broken pot in a way that it's not going to leak when I put a plant in it. And I'm going to use super glue and some hot glue. super glue on this. Try not to get any of this stuff on your hands. Otherwise you're gonna have to sand it off. Alright. that I'm crazy for buying a broken pot. But it's a beautiful pot. It was the last one they had. And no one's going to see this end because it's going to be up against a wall, high on a shelf. So I thought, hey, if I can get this super cheap, it'll be great. And I loved the, the pattern of the pot and the color. OK, that feels pretty secure right there. OK, next big piece. 
I, oops, that's a lot of glue came out at once. No bueno. I need to clean this up ASAP. Gotta really be careful with the super glue. It comes out really fast. The last thing you wanna do is have to pry your fingers off of something. So don't squeeze very hard. same thing to try to fix your pots and just put the crack towards the back. Or what I like to do if I break a pot. I like to put the broken pieces in other plants. I don't know, it gives it a little bit of a whimsical feel to it. I just saw a hummingbird that almost poked me in the head. Anyways, I like to put the broken pieces in flower beds or planters. It just gives it a cool little feel, and hey, you're repurposing something that normally would go into a landfill. That's pretty much done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get hot glue and put hot glue and smear it over the crack to kind of seal up the crack so water does not run out of the crack. But what's cool about this pot too, it has a built-in saucer. So if a little bit of water does seep out, the saucer will catch it. So here's my little trick with working with hot glue. Parchment paper. You could also use wax paper. Hot glue does not stick to this. So when I'm smearing hot glue over something that I want to have a smooth finish, I'll put this over the hot glue and then press it with my hand and it really smooths it out and then it just comes off really easy. So my little trick with working with hot glue. I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of the crack and then smooth it out with the parchment paper. Okay, the glue is still runny on the back of this, so I wanna really be careful. I don't get my hand glued to the pot. So I'm just gonna put some hot glue. I don't know if you can see this. Over the crack. parchment paper and just smooth it out. Excuse my ugly ass nails. All the shops are closed. You see? The hot glue sealed the crack so water will not run out of there. Get the bottom really good. My parchment paper. And it also protects your fingers because the glue is hot. So it gives you a little layer. A little bit more to go. My pothos is gonna go in this pot. And it's gonna go at the top of a bookshelf. So those beautiful leaves can just trail down very well. And we sealed up our pot. Now it is water resistant and the water will not leak through the crack. We hope. Hi guys. So my camera died. <laughs> Battery was out. So I ended up potting up all the plants without you. Sorry. But I want to show you the final result. I love it. This is what I did. Check it out. Okay, look, here are my beautiful plants. I put the snake plant in a basket. I repotted that beautiful plant. My pothos in the pot that I repaired. And some of my other plants, they look really good. Can't wait to put them in the house. I love it. 
Hi guys, so I forgot to show you my string of hearts. I potted it up. It's the very next day. I was like, duh, Lorinda. I totally forgot to show you that plant. It was like hanging over here in the corner. And later that evening, I'm like, darn it. <laughs> so look at my string of hearts. Here's my string of hearts. Isn't it so pretty? I love this hanging planter. Eventually, I'm going to put it into my house, but I think it's gorgeous. The beautiful little heart-shaped leaves. Love it! Okay, since I do have you with me, I have something else to show you. Ugh, make my way through the jungle. Look! My hollyhocks opened! Look at how beautiful! Ah! Don't want to trample on my zucchini over there! Oh, isn't that a beautiful flower? I just noticed that this morning. I thought these were these petunias I have over here. But I realized, wait a minute! Those are my hollyhocks! Awesome, I hope the harsh sun we have here in California doesn't fry them, because I would love to enjoy them, you know, for a little while anyways. But look, this one is taller than me. And there's a few more there, and a couple more coming up down there. I need to deadhead some of these petunias. I think I need to find another place for my little teapot here. I made that myself. Found it at the Goodwill, put some beads in it. Really cute. I love whimsical garden stuff. What else we got going over here? Some peppers, some sunflowers. <gasps> Look, a zinnia opened up. This is a queen lime zinnia. And I think those are the queen lime orange zinnias. And these sunflowers are huge. Every day they're getting bigger and bigger. Butterfly. There's a butterfly over there. Let me go see if we can see another butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. I think that's a pink lady. What else? I need to be pulling my garlic soon. Maybe this weekend I'll pull it all up. I planted it in November. So I think it's about time. I wonder if I have any... <gasps> Look! This is like a, an adventure. It's an eggplant. That's a big one. This is a Chinese eggplant. I've never really eaten eggplant. I don't even know. I think I have to snip it. I don't think it will just come off. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever planted eggplant. So. Hopefully I like it. I don't think I've even really eaten it before. <laughs> but I thought, hey, why not try it? And this plant I planted like way last year and I thought it was dead. And then this spring it just kind of woke up. Kind of cool. What else? More surprises. My nasturtiums have seen better days. Something has been eating them. Probably caterpillars. I need a spray with BT. I did once already. It helped a little bit, but I need another application. This is some milkweed that I planted for the monarchs. There was a caterpillar on here that came with the milkweed plant, but I don't know where it went. Hopefully a bird didn't get to it. These are my dragon tongue bush beans. 
I wonder if I have any beans in there. It started putting on flowers, and I did not know the dragon tongue bush beans climbed like this. I am shocked. I don't think my beans that I've planted before have ever climbed like that before. But no, I don't see any pods yet, but there are quite a few flowers. Really cool. I'm underneath my pomegranate tree. Look at my pomegranates. So pretty. I'm gonna have a bumper crop this year. This is so cool. I should hang like little jewels in here. That'd be kind of cool. Little wind charm I got in Hawaii. Turtles. Let's see. Let's see, this is an overwintered pepper plant. Oh, look what's hiding behind here. It's an actual pepper. You're coming with me. Any more? Wow. That's so cool. It's a Cubanelle. Ah, it's yucky. It's like a heart beating. The thump, the thump, the thump. <laughs> uh, into the compost you go. Oh, these garlic right here smell so amazing. Look at the neck. Look at the big old neck on this one. That's, I think, an elephant garlic. I did plant about eight cloves of elephant garlic, which isn't really a true garlic, but um, it's, it produces really big bulbs. And this is a bitter melon plant that is starting to go, thank goodness. Those are supposed to be really good for diabetics. So bummed about this dang pepper. There's a tomatillo in here that I see. Tomatillo. Strawberries will come back for you later. Oh, I want to show you something really cool. So this radish, look at this radish. It is ginormous. It looks like a a foot look at look at how big this thing is it's like a potato I let it go because I want it to go to seed and it's just starting to produce a, a little seed head because I want to collect all the seeds this is a French breakfast radish could you believe it look at how huge it is Ooh, sounds like a watermelon really cool Hey guys, so one last thing. Look, look at this tomato plant. This is just the other piece of that Mr. Stripey tomato that, uh, that I thought might have been a sucker or a second plant. It was actually a second plant, but I still snipped it off because it was a little close. I didn't want to pull it apart and disturb the roots. But I'm gonna put this in a pot and um, hopefully it does well. I've had so-so eh, luck with um, planting little suckers and little cuttings like this from a tomato plant. I think I keep them too long in the water. Um, so by the time they go out into the garden, they're like tired. So I think the trick is as soon as they start to put on roots, and this is literally like a week, um, get them in the ground as soon as you can. So I'm gonna pot this up right now. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy right there. Trying to do this with one hand here. The trick is, plant them as deep as they can go because all those little hairs will turn into a root. All right, Mr. Stripey. Time to get to work and make me those delicious striped tomatoes. I'm such a demanding gardener. <laughs> so I came into my house really quick because I wanted to show you guys the plants that I potted up. There's one of them right there. It looks so pretty right there. 
and one of them is way up there on a little shelf and I have another um, pothos that's a neon pothos I've had that one for like five years pretty cool and excuse my mail and my messiness but there's one right here kind of cool okay here's that snake plant I put it in a basket right next to my hand sanitizer. I think that looks pretty right there. That's an African mask plant that I bought on clearance. Eh, it's doing so-so. I think it needs more light. What do you think? If you are a plant expert, please leave a message in the comments. I have a few questions. All right. This is a piece of apothos that I potted in some soil. Don't you let free plants just clip off pieces of your plants and then pot them up. Pretty cool. So here's one of the little ones that we potted up. Looks really cute right there next to this one with a matching pot. Don't know what kind of plant that is. If you know, leave a message in the comments. Okay. Look, here's that pretty pot. The one that I fixed. I think it looks really good right there. Eh, it's hanging over the edge a little bit, but it's okay. Hopefully in, a, in enough time the plant will hang down enough to kind of cover it. I took a few cuttings from this already and put them in some water, but not bad for five bucks. You can't even tell. The crack is towards the back. Ha ha, that rhymed. Okay. Here's a Monstera that I had already. Don't you love them? I love the Swiss cheese leaves. This is an Oxalis, the shamrock plant. Bought that on clearance for like a dollar at Ralph's, like after 4th of July, three years ago. And I just recently repotted it up and it's just thriving. It loves this spot right here by the window. And here's the last little one that I potted up, that coleus. Such pretty colors on those leaves. Don't you just love it? Looks so nice next to my son's messy schoolwork. Ugh, teenagers. And that's a sad little Kel and Koei. Well, there you have it. Thank you for coming along with me today as I just did a few little chores, potting up some plants, little garden safari, I like to call it. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe if you want to see more. And get out and grow something. I didn't have a green thumb when I started. I, I still don't think I have one. I'm, I think I'm just getting lucky. I don't know. Anyways, you guys take care. Have a great one. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. And then it just comes off effortless. And then it just comes off effortless. And then it just comes off really easy.